In this video, we're going to build this shoe box arcade kit. It's fairly easy to do, not very hard. It's going to be step by step, and then about towards the end of the video, we're actually going to play with it, play some games, see it in action. It turned out great. I'm very happy with this project. I think it's a great project, especially if you're on a budget. And uh, you can even put your Raspberry Pi inside the box. So the box can be its own Raspberry Pi gaming machine as well. So here it is, Mr. Joystick. You can find this on banggood.com. I'll put a link in the description. As you see, uh, no tools required. It's a four-way or eight-way joystick. It comes with a total of 10 buttons, eight large ones, two small ones for your start and select. It comes with all the wires you're going to need, both the negative and the positives, as well as the USB cable that's going to go from the USB decoder board, which is included, all the way to your Raspberry Pi or your computer, whichever application you're using this kit for. Uh, the buttons are zero delay, so that's a great perk. They are blue. They also sell other colors as well. You can screw off the uh, ball on the analog stick, um, and as well as it is a Sanwa style uh, stick, and uh, it's fairly easy. Just one plug goes from the stick to the encoder. So all in all, very easy. So far, so good. Good kit. Give it a shot. Welcome to the ghetto build part one. So I'm hoping that a one inch hole will be perfect. Measure before you drill? I think not. Booyah. Oh wow, this might work perfectly. You might just need to like carve out a little extra there. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's perfect. Take your time here. You can put the buttons straight in a row, or you can kind of put them at a little bit of an angle. It's up to you. Just take your time on this step. I was all by myself. Um, I'll go ahead and post some templates. I found a website that has templates. You can print them out and then do it, but I'm just doing the rough and tough version. Okay. Now for this, I need to take off the ball. And uh, I'm just going to push it through a little on that side so I have a, a start. And then, uh, Yeah, this will work. It should still cover it, even with the round hole there. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, put a little mark where I want the screws to go through. And then once I have my marks, I can remove this and then drill my holes. All right, so there you go, I've made little dots. Get that to go through. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually just gonna use this to poke the hole all the way through. All right, and then I have some machine screws. That I got at Kmart. I do want to put a washer on these because I feel that they're going to have a lot more stress than. So I'm going to go washer and then up through here. That one was way too long.
Okay. So you want it like this when you're looking upside down. Okay. Confirmed. I looked at my other controller. I missed it a little bit. I missed my marks a little bit. Dang it. All right, we got close. All right, so here we go. We're good now. A, B. X, Y. A, B. X. Why? And then the last two are start and select. So we want so we want start first. Select first. Alright, left is select, so. Select and start. Alright. That's it. And then lastly is this piece. And look at that, it goes through the fuck. There's a hole already for you. Booyah! Look at that. Shut that. We shut that. We got our USB cable out, out the little hole here. Out the little hole on the side. Pretty chill. All right, there it is, the finished thing. Not bad. Turned out good. I messed up a little there and there, but I think it's gonna be all right. When you open it up, I mean, I could mount this here, like mount this on the shoe box here, if I wanted to eventually. Um, wires aren't that bad. The way I wired it is, um, Starting from the lower left-hand corner, if it says USB um, like this, 
uh, the one chord goes here, the Sanwa. You want it, you want it to look like this. So the um, so if you're looking at it at this angle that we're looking at it at, you want the um, the two clips to go on the back side, on the towards the front of the um, shoe box, towards the lid, those face. Okay, so that's for that. As far as the key starting in the lower left corner, uh, I went A B X Y, shoulder shoulder trigger trigger. I believe it just goes in that order and then select start. We're doing it. Cute. Ah. Uh, oh. Good as you see. Let's play like, uh, let's see, Raiden. Or R type. Let's do R type. Why not? Ram and Rom? Okay. Oh. That was not as good as I hoped for. Beam! Fully charged! Oh, you gotta wait for the line. Yeah. There we go. See, yeah, I cut close. Like Independence Day. Is there any other controls? Oh, you can't hit the ground. God dang it. There you have it. Shoebox. Shoe Look at that. All there is is that to a USB out the little side here. Look at the pie. You saw it here, Drew Tox, playing with it. I guess the right side up would be like that for you. Final product, not too bad, not too shabby. Turned out really good. You can see the only key that I messed up was this one right here. All the rest look good. And uh, I could paint it if I wanted to, but uh, I'm liking it. Um, I was also thinking maybe putting the start select button on the front if you wanted to, but uh, I like it up there as well. Not too shabby. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.